uh, yeah, so, um, so, uh, just coming from the supermarket, and, um, and that's more or less the deal, that's, that's what happened, um, over the past, um, you know, like I, like I moved down to Georgia, uh, kind of ready to settle down, and I kind of felt like, um, you know, like, everything kind of fell apart, um, you know, starting in 2019, and, uh, I just felt pretty, I just felt pretty, like, uh, like, demoralized, like, my, my morale, my morale, uh, for, you know, for everything, for anything that I'd ever wanted to, to really do for anyone, kind of, like, kind of, like, hit, it didn't exactly hit rock bottom, I've definitely been lower than that, but the reason that it didn't hit rock bottom is because I made it a point to hold on to, to, to make sure that I keep putting things into my life that, um, you know, that I want to be able to look back on and, um, and, and have done. Um, um, and so that's actually what kept me from sinking into, like, like a deep depression or anything like that. Um, is because, you know, like, uh, I just always, I don't know, like, when I was a lot younger, like, probably in my teens or in my early 20s, you know, I, I, I came across the question of, like, what, what, you know, like, what should, should a person be doing, you know, what should someone be doing, you know, um, and, you know, assuming they've, assuming they've got nothing, you know, nothing in particular going on, but, you know, they, they don't want to be wasting time, um, and, I don't know, my answer to that was always, um, you know, I think a friend had asked me, the, had posed the question to me, maybe back in college. And my answer to that was always, um, well, after you finished, after you finished, like, partying and living it up for, you know, like a few weeks or whatever... You know, if you somehow, like, if somehow money became no object, um, you know, just suddenly, after you finish, like, partying and, like, lazing about, like, then what kinds of things would you do? Um, you know, because, uh, because, you know, eventually, you know, eventually, you know, you can only do so much. You can only... You can only do so much, like, relaxing, you know? Like, you can only do so much, you know, with a lot of money suddenly. Uh, so, so, what I would always, uh, the way that I always felt is that, you know, if, if, you know, like, if money were no object, after you finished, um, you know... After you finish living it up, then what kinds of things would you want to work on? Um, whatever your answers are to that question, those are probably the things that you should be doing. Um, whether you have money or not, like whether you have the resources or not, you should probably, in some fashion, be working on, uh, you know, be working on those things. Um, because I mean, I mean, that's pretty much going to be. I feel like that that'll that's pretty much going to be who you are. Whatever's left after, you know, like after you, after you eliminate, you know, the worries or limitations of, you know, like having to pay bills or having to be locked into, you know, things based on financial obligation or, or what have you. Um, whatever kind of work you would. You would still want to do anyway you know regardless of whether you had to then you should probably be doing those things in in some fashion i 
grew up with a stepbrother that um, I think always dreamt of of becoming a, an umpire for the uh, for the MLB, um, and he is he's not an umpire for the MLB, um, but um, uh, but he still umpires for for like for like little like children's uh, like kids games and whatnot uh, in his local in his local community. That's 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 what I mean. Uh, you know, like whatever's left over, you should probably still, you should probably still be doing those things. Whatever's left over after, you know, after you clear out, after you, you know, after you have, you know, after you have so much money that you, you know, like you don't really have to worry about, you know, like about, about um about a lot of the the stuff you know related to you know money and like billing and and like rent and stuff like that you know after you finish like living it up or whatever like you're gonna want to still do some stuff and like that's what's whatever's gonna be that's what's gonna be left over after you finish living it up all that you're gonna have left over after that is Whatever you really find important. Um, and I personally feel that coincidentally, whenever you lose, well, no, it wasn't, maybe it's not, not, maybe it's not coincidentally, uh, but you know, like if you get to a point where you lose, uh, or you lose all your resources, you lose all your money, uh, you know, you, you lose your home, you, you lose your family, whatever it is that you lose, like, all that you're going to be left with, it's still just going to be the same, the same stuff inside that you're going to be left with, whether you have everything or whether you don't have anything at all, like, you're still going to be interested in the same kinds of things, you're still going to, you know, gravitate towards the same kinds of things, have the same kinds of things feel fulfilling to you, um, and so, and so, I'm more or less, I'm more or less hit like, like a pretty bad slump, a pretty bad slump and, you know, I felt like being able to, uh, being able to contribute with my family and like my niece and nephew, like, was something I'd been really looking forward to when I originally moved to Georgia, around Atlanta, and when none of that came together, just as it was about to, particularly just as it was, as it seemed like it was about to come together, uh, when it all fell apart again, um, then, rather than sort of like lamenting over it or like feeling worthless, I'd kind of already, I'd kind of already made sure I'd, you know, I'd been working, working on, or working to include things that I wanted, that I wanted to be in my life, and that I wanted to see uh, in my life before all that happened, and so... I just didn't let go of any of it. Um, well, no, I let go of some of it actually, but I didn't let go of all of it. I let go of some things, some things that I'd been involved in that were actually positive, that um, um, 
I let go, but I didn't let go of everything. And I tried to give it some time to see if I could just turn things around normal style. Uh, not Gangnam style. Um, but once they didn't come together, I, you know, like, I knew that, I knew that I wasn't going to, um, just sort of like, Um, not move forward and, you know, and pick up the next things that I wanted to, to do, uh, to do in life. Um, um, I guess the only difference between before, you know, before 2019, before maybe 2018, um, and now, is that, I definitely, I definitely took, um, you know, having been homeless all year into consideration, um, Um, you know, as part of, as part of the move. So, it wasn't just not, I didn't just not consider, you know, the fact that I'd been struggling the past couple of years. Um, but it wasn't the only consideration. Um, um, um. You know, like, and I feel like it's the same with, I feel like it's the same with the things that everyone does. You know, like, you know, like if it, like if, if it doesn't line up with who you are, then you're not going to do it. Um, one place that had been suggested, um, that I felt like would have been, I felt like probably would have been like a very good idea in terms of, um, in terms of like, uh, it's, well, something that I'd been considering, um, apart from, like, just moving back to New York, moving back home, um, was that I was told that, um, on the low, um, Vermont is, like, a very, 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 very good state, um, in terms of homelessness, homeless rehabilitation, um, like, because the, because the state is so, uh, because the state has so many high earners, it's like kind of a, kind of a wealthier state. <laughs> Apparently, and I guess because Bernie, of Bernie, of whatever Bernie Sanders has done, um, um, you know, the here tell, the here tell, uh, <laughs> you know, across different shelters is that, um, <laughs> um, you know, they, um, they have so much, they have so much resources there for homeless that you don't even realize that there is a homeless population in Vermont. Um, and so, apart from just heading back home, apart from just going right back up, up to New York, where at least I would have known everything and known where all my resources were. Vermont was definitely considered as a close second in terms of being able to like get uh, get things back on track. Um, you know, like. I feel like in this country there are enough resources. There are enough resources if if anyone is like homeless and uh, um, 
there could be more, don't get me wrong. I don't think there should be any homelessness. There are some countries where homelessness is not allowed at all. There are, there are no homeless. Um, but, um, um, but yeah, Vermont had been, had been like, had been in the back of my mind, but I mean, it didn't really line up with the things that I wanted to do. Like I didn't want to go right back to the same, the same coast, the East coast. I didn't really want to like, you know, like I'd always wanted to move out West, like, like, I do miss, I did miss having a white Christmas this year, I will say that, um, but, um, but yeah, like, I wanted to, um, I wanted to move someplace a little bit, a little bit more, more chilled out than, uh, than the East Coast. Um, and so, so basically what I'm, you know, what I'll probably be up to over the next, uh, you know, this year will be like, over the next six months will be finagling my hours around so that I can actually continue to study the way I want to, um, finagling my um, my rental situation around so that I'm renting someplace much, much cheaper. Um, uh, so that I can make it so it's possible to, you know, to live off of just, you know, two or three days a week, like, of work. This is, you know, without having any kind of, like, like, big cushy job just off of, like, retail or, like, basic work. It is still possible out here, on the Big Island specifically, um, uh, to get by. Um, um, I can't say the same for Maui or for um, Oahu. Those are more expensive islands. But, um, but... I, I say that it's kind of cool just to know that it actually is possible. You know, like, you've got... Usually you, you think of, like, only, like... Kind of, like, much older or, like, established folks. You know, making so much money that they're able to cut back their hours and, like... You know, only work, like, you know, a couple of days a week. But it's not it's not true. Like, like it's actually possible... It's actually possible to do, um, um, even just working at, like, a gas station or something. Um, 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 so, so, so anyway, uh, now you have kind of a full idea of, like, um, how I, how I ended up here and, like, what my plans are and, like, what, um, what I'm, what I'm, like, looking forward to and, um, and I'll wrap things up here. I've actually got I've got work in the morning, um, and yeah, I'll I'll, I'll check in uh, I'll check in with everyone tomorrow. Uh, uh, aloha.